got brand new friends for way back. If you must, I can't change that. Damn, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. I just got done running from two fucking big fat booty bitches right now, bro. Holy shit, bro. I had to fucking get on. They were fucking chasing the fuck out of me. Oh my gosh, bro. I ain't never had two fat big booty booties just looking at me. I mean, fucking chasing me right now. I can't even fucking talk. That's how serious this is. Oh shit. Now I'm just playing y'all. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Lil Rossi, and I'm back with another video. You feel me? Wait, 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 wait. Reverse, reverse, it's your boy Lil Rossi and I'm back with the video, you dig? Woo! What's the deal, y'all? Okay. Uh, look, before we start this video, you feel me? I want to give condolences to Big Shots, you feel me? Um, something bad happened like, the other night, actually, something bad happened the other night, and that's where I'm supposed to perform at. So, I honestly don't know if I'm still going to perform there or not, but just want to give condolences and to that person's people family person whatever family you know all condolences and everything to them and yeah um anyways let's get right into the video y'all you feel me i am back with another video like i said and today we're gonna do story fucking time story time y'all story time you feel me story fucking time you feel me and um yeah so today we're gonna talk about let me fix my hair real quick because we're going to talk about hair today. We're going to talk about barbering. All right. And we're going to talk about like how I got into barbering and how much I adore barbering and how much I'm thankful to know how to become a, be a barber, not become a barber, but I, I'm going to talk about that too. But how much I'm thankful of being a barber, you know? So anyways, let's get right into it. So, ah. All right, so starting barbering was like crazy, you know, like I did not think I was going to become a barber, like, you know, like, of course, I'm an artist as well, but I didn't think I'll become a barber as well, too, you know, so like over the years before I became a barber, let's say like prior to becoming a barber, I my parents always told me like, hey, you should go to barber school, you should go to barber school, like, you know, you should go to barber school, mind you, I was so full of it to where like I didn't care what they said, like, I'm not going to go to barber school, like, you know, I'm doing music, like, I'm not going to go to barber school, you know? Like, it was just out of the picture, you know? So, coming into doing barbering, so you guys, I was sitting, I was laying down, you feel me, at, you know, like, my ex's house. I was laying at my ex's house. I used to live with my ex and shit, and I'm laying at her house and shit. And mind you, I got tired of fucking being, like, under someone and not doing anything, you know? Like, you know how it feels to be, like, feel suffocated? Like, you're not doing shit with your life. And it's not because the other person, but it's because of yourself. Like, you know, like, you're not doing anything with your life. Like, why am I not doing nothing with my life? Like, okay, like, yeah, I'm in a relationship, but, like, why am I not doing anything? You know, like, why am I not doing anything to better myself? You know, so me wanting to better myself, you know, laying on the bed. And first of all, y'all, I thought about just going to regular college. Like, I've been to regular college before. I went for a little bit, you know, my sister and shit, but we went for a little bit. We didn't go for, like, oh, a whole year and two and three and four years, you know? We went for a little bit and shit. We went for like the first semester and then we didn't go anymore. My bad. Excuse me. We didn't go anymore. So me laying down in that bed, I thought about like, damn, like I need to do something. So I thought about going back to college and I was like, I should go back to college. Like, fuck it. Like, you know, I'm laying down, like I'm not doing anything, you know? So maybe I should go back to college. So I, I remember I went to the ABC freaking college website and I was just looking at it. Like, you know, like where's the next semester, you know? But I was thinking like, do I really want to go there? Like, am I really going to commit going to going back to college again? I was like, um, maybe, maybe not. So then boom, my, my thoughts were just processing. Then I thought about barbering. I was like, damn, what about what my parents was telling me? Like barbering and shit. Like, you know, like maybe I should just try to do that. And mind you, I did not want to do that shit. But me being in that fucking position in that, that particular circumstance, I had something. I needed to do something, you know, or else I'm not going to like, you know, I'm going to be blank. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to check out the I'm going to check out Lancaster Beauty School. Like, fuck it. So I go on Lancaster Beauty School website and I'm like, damn, like, do I really want to do this? Like, you know, but I'm like, fuck it. Like, let me try, you know, like, I'm going to try to do that shit. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to try. So. I go on there and then it tells you like, it, I looked for like when's their next opening, like you know like when's their next like fucking opening fucking appointment or whatever you want to call it. And I said fuck it, let me call this, let me call the number, and let me check. 
So fuck it. I called her like, yeah. Well, first of all, nobody answered. It took me to the little freaking voice. What's it called? Like voice uh, command or some shit where there's like a fucking robotic ass person telling you like, oh yeah, press one, press two, press three. And then, you know, eventually I got to where like I needed to set an appointment up. So I set an appointment up. I remember I drove down to the freaking beauty school that same, like the next day they were closed. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go the next day then. Like, you know, maybe I'm really gonna do this shit. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna try it out. So I go the next day, I fucking sign up. Like literally that same day I sign up. I'm like, holy shit. Like, I don't even think I'm gonna really like be consistent at this shit. Like, you know, like I'm gonna end up like going there for a little bit and I'm not gonna go there no more. So I fucking sign up. Boom, I meet the fucking beautiful women in there. They're all nice, cool. They're nice, beautiful women, beautiful people, you know? I meet them, and then they're like, yeah, the school's cool or whatever. Like, you know, like, da 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 Like, you're going to learn a lot, whatever the case is, you know? So I sign up. Boom. Then I have to wait, like, two to three weeks. I was like, damn, I got to be on my ass for two to three weeks, you guys. Mind you, before all that, I was working at Home Depot. And then I stopped working there. So I had nothing to do, mind you. I had nothing to do. So then I go there. Boom. So then three weeks go by and then I'm like, like, you know, the first day came up. Mind you, before the day. OK, the day I started beauty school, you guys, barber school, as you can call it, Cosmo Barber School. I freaking the day before that, I got freaking locked up, like literally like I was so fucking mad. I was like, yo, like, how did I get locked up the day before I start school? Like, fuck, like, yo, you guys, I got locked up the day before I start school. And I was like, I have to make it to my first day or else or else I'm going to have to wait longer to start the school. Right. So I get locked up. And then like during that process, I'm just like hoping that I get out that morning just to make it to school. You know, so mind you, I got out at one o'clock in the morning, literally like got out one o'clock in the morning, you know. So I was still luckily enough to make it to the first day of freaking barber school. So, boom. The day comes up, I'm happy as fuck. I'm like, I fucking made it to school. Like, fuck. I was going to miss out on everything. I wouldn't even be barbering right now if I didn't make it to... The, I don't think I'll be barbering right now if I didn't make it to school that morning. So, but my start school, you know? When I started school, I started off doing, like, Cosmo hair. Like, you know, like, Cosmo hair. I started doing cosmetology. Like, I was doing, like, you know, dolls with long hair and shit. And that show was pretty cool. Like, you know, like, I never thought, like, I would learn how to, like, do girls hair before learning how to do male hair, you know? So that whole process, I spent like three, four weeks in the school learning how to do like girls hair and shit. And it's crazy as fuck because I learned how to do girls hair. Like I, I'm pretty sure like if I did a girl's hair, I'll know how to do her hair just for me like going through that process of the like three, four weeks of that. And um, I had some fucking cool, bro, cool ass freaking teacher. You know what I mean? Like Nartar, you feel me? She know the vibes. You feel me? So I had a cool ass time doing that process of three weeks. And mind you, like I'm learning, like I'm learning, I'm doing girls hair. I'm like, damn, like I'm really into this. Like what the fuck? Like. I'm not even cutting hair, but I'm doing girls hair. But it's weird because I started off learning how to do girls hair before I learned how to do guys hair. That's just crazy. So I enjoyed that, like flat earning, freaking bleaching, girls hair, freaking curl irons, all that shit, and freaking guys be having finger waves and shit and all that. I learned all that. Shampooing, conditioning, everything. So then after that process, the whole process when I first started was not me cutting guys hair. So three weeks go by, four weeks go by. And I'm like, all right, I'm getting close. Like, I'm finna go on the floor. Like, you know, like, I'm finna go on the floor of the school where we cut, like, where they actually, like, you know, you get into your haircuts. I'm like, sheesh. You know, there's Cosmos on the floor already and shit. And then I'm like, all right. So the day comes up where I had an option to go on the floor. And one of my buddies is like, man, we should wait. We should wait a couple days. Like, you know, like, we're really ready. I'm like, man, you right. We're going to do it. On, we're going to do it. Though. It was the following Monday, I remember. And then... I don't know where we're just like, nah, forget that. Like, let's go on the floor. Like, fuck it. We're going to go on the floor. We're going to go cut hair. I was like, all right, I'm with it. I'm down. Like, you know, you finna sit by me. We finna do our thing and shit. So I had a haircut buddy. That's my guy to this day. You feel me? And um, we hit the floor. Now we're cutting hair. Mind you, before before I became a barber, I knew how to cut hair. I just didn't know how to like blend and everything. Like all the blends everyone do, I didn't, did not know how to do that. But I used to cut my own hair. Like when I used to go to parties back when I was like a teenager and stuff like that, like I'll get a haircut, but then, like, days go by, and then there'll be a party coming up, and then I'll cut my own hair. Like, I'll line myself up just so I look presentable when I go out. You feel me? Like, just so I look presentable. So I always knew how to do my haircut, you know? But, like, it took me a minute because I did fuck up on my hair. The first time I ever cut my hair, you guys, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. Look, I'm in middle school, seventh grade, you guys, and 
I need that. I'll try to do a taper on myself. I freaking fucking bought it all this. I bought it all. Like, that was all bought. Like, it was crazy. And this side. I thought I was doing good. As soon as I get done, I look in the mirror, you guys, and I was like, whoa, I fucked up on my taper. Like, it's bad. You know, like, I got to go to middle school the next day. I'm saying I have to go to middle school the next day because I was in middle school. So I had to go to the school the next day in the morning with a fucking fucked up haircut. I said, nah, fuck that. I cut all my hair off, y'all. I went bald the next day. And I tried to wear a hoodie. And then, you know, like back in the day, you couldn't wear no hoodie in class. The teacher would be like, oh, take your hoodie off. Like, you know, you can't do that. So I tried to like pass with that. I had a hoodie on. And I was embarrassed for real, you know. And I had to take ID pictures that same. Like, it was like the same day or the next day. So going in class and I was like trying to tell my teacher like, hey, like my hair is like fucked up. Like it's bald. Like you're going to make me take my hoodie off for real. Yeah. They were like, yeah, we're going to make it you take your hoodie off or you're going to get sent to the office. I was like, fuck it. Drop my hoodie. But I had another person that I had another person at that time that went bald too. They fucked up on the haircut. It was crazy. Like, you know, he fucked up too. So I was like, all right, I don't feel left out. You know what I mean? So I was fine with it. And then ID pictures came. I tried to wear my hoodie on ID pictures. Nope. Take your hoodie off for the ID picture. I was like, damn, but I'm bald. Like, you know, like, this is crazy. And like, so what? Like, you have to take your hoodie off. So I take my hoodie off. Boom. Someone's calling me. My bad. My mom's calling me. But I took my hoodie off. And I was bald. Took a picture. But anyways, back to school. So go back to barbering, you guys. So um, this is like a journey of barbering. So when I started the school, when I finally started cutting hair, I had a little, I had like a, I had like a, you know, like a preparation back when I was younger. So I kind of already knew how to, but I didn't know like all about the fading and the blending and shit. So the first like four or five months, you guys, I'm not going to lie. I sucked. Like I sucked. Like when I look back now to where I'm at now, I fucking sucked. I thought I was doing my shit. No, I was sucked. You know, I still was doing good here and there, but I fucking sucked. Like, you know, my haircuts were like decent and shit. So watching other like watching other instagrammers and shit like that like they're all doing perfect cuts and shit i knew like one day like you know eventually like i'll be doing perfect cuts like i'll do good cuts not i wouldn't say perfect more so but i'll say i'll be doing good cuts so so going on that journey after like five months you guys oh I, I remember i wanted to like i remember that i felt like i was just like not wanting to do it anymore i was like damn i don't want to cut hair anymore you know like i was like it's fun but like at the same time i don't want to cut hair anymore so I remember sitting in my garage and I'm like, why do I feel like this? You know, and something told me like maybe you need to go back and look at all the haircuts you've done. So I go back in my phone and I look back at all the haircuts I've done. I was like, all right, I'm going to continue. You know, like there's something that I have to like, you know, get out of this. Like, you know, I have to see myself doing good. You know, I don't want to see myself doing bad. So the next day I went back to school, you know, and mind you, shout out to the school. I went to Lancaster Beauty School it was like so fucking fun. You guys like it was like it was exhausting here and there, but it was pretty fun. You know, I enjoyed going to that school, you know, like more so is more so you teaching yourself how to cut hair than someone actually teaching you. And that's what I liked about it, too, even though it sounds like you need someone to teach you it. But really, you don't. For the ones that do want to become barbers, you don't need someone to actually teach you. You can start yourself and you can learn yourself. You feel me? You can learn from your own self. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you want to do something in life, you can learn from yourself and you can learn how to do that thing in life. So, but you still have other, I had others around me, you know, because there were so many people in there cutting hair and everyone in there, we were all on the same path so it was like we have to like make sure that every day we come cut hair we have to make sure that we're making sure we keep positive vibes with each other and shit so we can do our best you know like not more so away from like all the like anything that's going on commotion anything we have to make sure that we still support each other you know so as time went on like eight months like seven months into going to the school i started getting better you know like i started watching others getting better and i'm like damn like we're actually becoming barbers like we're becoming something great, you know, like we're doing something with our lives, you know, we're not just being bored and just not just doing anything, you know, we're doing something. Even if we weren't working, we were still in barber school, college, if you want to call it, you know, not going to college, but we're going to something and we're, we're, we're making something great out of it. So as I started getting better, you know, some people started, you know, moving on, doing, doing better things, elevating. Some people started elevating faster. Some people started elevating slower. Anyways, when it comes down to it, after like, so I'll say towards like two months before my graduation, I'm like, dang, like, you know, like I'm I'm actually a barber. Like I'm cutting my friends, family. I'm cutting. I didn't cut like almost over 300 people's heads before. Like, I'm like, wow, like this is crazy. Like, and it's going by so fast, you know? So I'm like, damn, look how fast it's going by. You know, like look how much time flew by. And I didn't even think I can do this, you know? 
I thought I would have been gave up, you know, like even the fifth month, I thought I was not going to, I was going to give up. Like, you know, those days, a couple of days, I missed some days, but I still stayed on the journey. Like, you know, I'm going to finish strong. Like, you know, I'm going to graduate from here. You know, like I want to really like, you know, cut hair. Like, you know, I fuck with it. I dig it. You know, even though I'm an artist, I'm like, I still did cutting hair. I love barbering, you know, so I have to find a way to like actually love it. And it's crazy because like, it's like, that comes with anything in life. You have to find things that you have to like, when you're doing something in life, you have to find ways to love it. You know what I mean? And like, not even just love it, but you have to find ways to know that you're going to do it forever. You know, like it's forever. You forever can do it. So boom, let's say like a month before graduation, you know, even during times before I talk about the month before graduation, even during times I see people graduate, you know, people like freaking like moving on, they're graduating and you know, like people starting to graduate more and more and more i'm like dang like it's crazy because people actually took their time and effort out to actually do something they thought they couldn't you know and when i start seeing more people graduate i'm like yeah i'm gonna i have to graduate too you know at that point i'm like i have to graduate too like no matter what like i have to you know like it was no no or nothing i had to so after that let's say a month before and a month before i was like wow you know, like, I'm actually, like, getting to that point to where I'm finna graduate. Like, I can't believe this. Like, start thinking about all the haircuts I didn't cut. All the, all, like, so many people, you know, like, how I was gonna, like, transfer a couple, like, multiple people to what I do and come do what I do and be in that position to where, like, they could say, like, hey, well, you cut me before, it's, like, you know, school before, like, I need a cut now, you know, so that's kind of tight, you know, so... Getting to my graduation part, I started to, like, notice that my mom's calling me again, you guys. Anyways, I started to notice that I'm going to miss this. You know, like, I'm going to miss this, the learning process of learning how to cut hair. And I did, you know. So, came to my graduation day. I was like, wow, like, you know, I actually, like, achieved something. Let's say achieved, you know. I actually achieved something, and I was proud of myself for that. You feel me? And to this day, you guys, I'm recording right now, but to this day... I still cut hair and I really like proud of myself of knowing how to cut hair, you know, like I'm not the best barber around, but I can make you look right. You know what I mean? As long as I can make you look right, then we can make it look tight. You know what I mean? We can be tight, you know? So anyways, yeah, that's a story time of barbering and all that, you know, there's so much more to it, but I don't want to like talk you guys head off or anything like that. So anyways, shout out to the barber life and shout out to the people that do barber right now you know shout out to you guys it's not an easy thing to do it's really not you know what i mean like over time you get better at it and better at it and better at it but it's still not an easy thing to do you know because it's time taken out of your day to do something for someone else and that's not easy but we do it you know like we pursue it and we make sure that we make others feel great and good about themselves you know what i mean so shout out to all the other barbers out there you know if you're watching this and you're a barber shout out to you and then shout out to the ones that want to become a barber look what i'm gonna tell you is man go try to be a go try to be a barber at least try you may like it you know what i mean i'm not gonna tell you otherwise you know what i mean pursue it is something that you should be great grateful and thankful for for doing so if you want to become a barber go become a barber you know, I'm a barber telling you, go become a barber. You right there. Go become a barber, bro. And then tap in with me when you become a barber. You feel me? So you right there, go become a barber because it's actually pretty fun. You know, I think every, I think a lot of things are fun in life. Like anything you want to be in life, it's fun as fuck. You know what I mean? That's how I take it. You know what I mean? I could have been a damn nurse. I think that would have been fun as fuck too. But I'm not a nurse though. You know, shout out to Grey's Anatomy. I'm not a fucking nurse, but I know Grey's Anatomy. Y'all be the people that be nurses and shit like that. And, lawyers whatever the case is i know it's all fun you know so anyways yes shout out to the barber life and all that you know what i mean just a little story time for you guys and um yeah you already know what it is it's your boy little rossi go follow me on instagram l-i-l-r-a-u-c-y yeah dig yeah feel me